Hey guys, Merry Christmas from Australia. Hope you're all doing well and have a fantastic Christmas day. I know mine's gonna be filled up with a lot of eating and family time, so definitely can't complain and obviously some presents here and there. Uh, this is Multiwinia. It's a multiplayer game for the game, or well, the single player game called Darwinia, which is a pretty fun little game in itself, but Multiwinia is something special to me. Like, I've got like, uh, not too bad, 30 hours in this game, all on uh, a single map, all by myself. <laughs> so it's um, it's essentially just like a battle royale. Well, I don't want to say battle royale, but like, you'll see, you'll find out when you when you see it. Like, we'll just host a game, or I'm gonna go with uh, domination, which is always what I go with, and the single map I go with as well, the Holy Tree. So I've never actually really properly played this game before in my life, but. I'll set everything up and then um, chat to you about it in a sec. Alright, so it's going to be a domination thing. Pretty much the objective is to kill the other team succinctly and I'll be, it'll be me, God Pie versus three random CPUs. Uh, here's the settings I've got, just time limits, handicaps, starting power-ups is three, you'll see those in a sec. Sudden death mode. Retribution mode is definitely a must. Um, pretty much like after you die. You can just sort of be in the game and just dig around a bit, which is really fun to me, so let's go! Alright, so domination. Capture all spawn points to win the game. Ooh, the map's changed. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, well, that's fantastic. It's got the Christmas cheer going. Do they? No. <laughs> they have Christmas hats. Oh. Oh, you beautiful children. <laughs> Usually this is like a green field and stuff, but this is this is even better. Oh, look at my people. Look at my race. Alright, so we pretty much get bases which periodically spawn these little dudes who you can kind of directly and indirectly control. Um, yeah, game starting in 3, 2, 1. So the strategy, as they said, is to try and kill the other players and steal all these little spawn points here, thereby sealing your victory. And since there's a few, quite a few NPCs and such, it makes for things um, to be very interesting. It makes for just a really interesting game. All right, my fellow friends, <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. So, I, I've said I've never actually properly played this game, and that's... Well, I've never actually completed a game before. Because of the fact that I've found out that Retribution Mode is just so much more... Oh my god, it's nuclear... Really? Jesus. What have I got? Shields. Subversion. Oh, we can do that. Convert them to our... Our cores, I think? And the shields... Call an airstrike as well for one, but I don't really care too much. Probably uh, a space to deselect, right? I'm gonna send my people away from there because they're gonna get barraged soon. Where is it? Oh my god! Damn it, yellow! Why is why am I the one who's beat? <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love the chaos. That's the thing is, I don't think I could probably keep up, with the, keep up with all this chaos that happens in this game, so... I just take a, a, the more relaxed route of just losing. Which is infinitely more fun to me. But we'll give it a damn... we'll give it a shot, like, to a small degree. What's this one do? Um, protect your multi winnings from harm from a little time. Okay, go, go for it. Yes. Oh, that's not good. They got a turret. A rocket turret. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's me who's got the rocket turret. We're fighting them for it. Ooh. We somehow got the rocket turret. Oh, that's not be good. Oh, that's hilarious. So how are we doing over here? Just sort of hanging around. Uh, let's go... Mess around with yellow for what they did, eh? Hey? Well, 
get an army of masks and uh, start marching there slowly but surely. These fellas can go uh, try and take the rocket turret. I love it. Go on, guys. Oh no! It's just complete chaos. Oh my... He's killing... He's killing his own people, but damn, this is effective. We'll send hordes to wave one wave one wave of our men in. That's what we'll do. Send the next wave! If it, if it wasn't uh, obvious, I'm deliberately trying to actually lose right now. Because <laughs> that's half the fun. Like the real fun starts when you lose. We've got a fairly well... Oh my god. I feel like a, a straight push into this is just death on wheels right now. Although when we get off like five grenades at once, it really helps a lot. Oof. Oh my god, so much chaos. What the hell? Oof. I don't know what's happening. It's, it's just chaos, man. I love it. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that in the single player of the game, the premise was that these Darwinians, they're like computer simulations sort of thing. And, um, I'm fairly sure the premise was that they're like a very peaceful race that did not know fear or like, what didn't, didn't know war, uh, per se. But then, like, a virus came and started, like, destroying everything, which, um, forced them to have to, like, take up arms against them at some point, because the users sort of helped them out, and it teaches them the, um, the art of war. And uh, I'm guessing this is the result and result of that. Just <laughs> fine by me. Yeah, Red has four spawn points. Yeah, he's gonna do pretty well later on in the game. How's yellow doing? I, I could help you out. Give you give you a turret. You're welcome. That's oh, a flame turret. Very good. Let's see how this uh, does against this red red army invasion that's coming in. I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised I'm still in the game, actually. Oh my God! That's a war crime. Uh, that's that's definitely a huge war crime right there. Yep, and there the red's like, no, nope, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> we'll just back away for a bit. Alright, as, as good as these things are, they're actually um, somewhat easy to deal with. Oh my god. It's not the hill you want to attack. It really isn't. What's this? Oh shit, are they here already? Future Williams. Ooh. Interesting. Let's zoom out a bit, huh? Let's see the strategic map as it's meant to be. Oof. Well, having a quick glance at the strategic map, I can safely say that I'm gonna I'm not gonna win. But my hordes upon hordes of people are definitely keeping blue at bay. Somehow, I'm so surprised by this. Usually, this tactic ends in me just dying quickly. Though extremely grenade happy. The fact that you're getting caught on fire helps a lot. Ooh, a box. Yes, please. Come on, crate. It's a rocket Winians. <laughs> oh no, war crimes. Oh, never mind. It's mine now. Uh, oh wait, they've got rocket Winians too. I oh, know it's a rocket thing there. Fair enough. Wave upon wave of men. We'll eventually take this heal. Oh god. <laughs> oh, another flame turret, thank you. 
You're too kind. It's gonna be a hotly contested area now. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> I just love the chaos that this game brings. It's amazing to watch. And since it, since it doesn't look like I'll be knocked out anytime soon, that's pretty much my whole um, shtick is I just get um, locked out and then just watch the chaos and then throw out a few things to help them out or hinder them a little bit. Because when you get um, hopped into retribution mode... You know what? In the interest of helping out uh, Blue a little bit, I'm going to send Wave of, off to Wave of Men down this way now. fairly well fortified, but uh, red is surprised. Like red and yellow are just absolutely caning it right now. And blue is fighting red on this front. And red's not too concerned about him. Looks like he's more interested in taking on yellow. Damn, that's quite the hard advantage that they got up here. That's quite the hard advantage. Uh, let's see, who can we force Armageddon upon? Thinking you. That might open up blue to have a bit of a foothold on here. Oh, is there a crate there? Guys, do you want to hang out for that crate? Oh, I didn't even look at the meteor shower. That's how cool I am right now. Oh. Hello. Hello, flying virus. So these things are the viruses in the, in the single player game. And these dudes, they like lay these eggs, which um, if they get fertilized with their Darwinian uh, soul, which we'll see somewhere. Uh, yeah, where's some dying Darwinians? Here we go. These little orbs here are like their, their souls kind of thing. So if that gets fertilized in an egg, it'll spawn a virus. But uh, because of where you are right now, there's going to be little to no chance of that happening. Oh. Oh great, Triffids. Triffids, ooh. Uh, let's just send y'all over there so you can go give them the plague. Oh no, they don't care. Oh no. I'm guessing the plague makes them a little bit uh, crazy. So they just randomly fire into the air. The Triffids, oof. That's gonna be interesting to see what happens with that. Stay back! I got Triffids! I want them to live! Oh yes, popped out an egg. Oh no. Here comes the virus. Oh, there's another egg. These eggs are scary. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm long for this world. I have to say, like, they my dudes are passing through them, so they're going to get infected as they keep going through. <laughs> That's okay. It's all part of the plan. What's, what's happening in the rest of the world? Like, red's still dominating. I've somehow got a bit of a foothold here, causing distractions. That's getting cleaned up now. Oh, the hat fell off. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Oh, gee. Like, the chaos is amazing to me. Oh, dear, no. Don't kill the Triffids. You monsters! Like, um... These, uh, these dudes, Triffids, and other, um, sort of virus-like things can't actually be hurt by normal, conventional weapon fire these dudes are shooting off. They can only be hurt by, um, explosions and, uh, yeah, these two, actually. That's fine, too. So, there's relatively little that can hurt these guys, but the fact that they can chuck grenades every now and then does... Yep, there he comes. There's a grenade. Boom. 
hurt him. Not good, but what can you do? Actually, I'm going to be eliminated in 17 seconds. Should we do a final assault? Forward, people! Into the forest of death! Yeah, this is the uh, a dark forest, which is another another crate spawn. It pretty much just kills your people. Right now, this is killing them slowly but surely. You know. Oh, I died. Never mind, I get re retribution in like 37 seconds or so. Unfortunately, the, the retribution you get is not too varied, but still fun enough to kind of dig around a bit with. But this is my favorite part here. Yeah, like, I just sort of cruise around the map now. I don't have to worry about defending my people at all. Anything like that. And just uh, watch the chaos unfold. It's extremely fun and relaxing to just sit back, relax, and watch things. This is kind of like my ultimate chill out style. Like, even with um, games like um, Populous at the beginning, I'll just sort of build up a mega base and just hang out on levels for ages and just sort of mess around the AI a bit, try different things, just experiment. Really good fun. Eventually complete the mission. Oh yes. It's a good good start. Or not. Good lord. That was insane. Oh, it's snowing as well. Oh, that's cute. Is the tree dropping um No. Interesting. Because these, these, this tree here has meant to be a magic tree which drops like pretty much souls kind of thing that you can use to feed off and uh, power certain things and give yourself a boost. But it doesn't seem like you can. Oh, he finally got a bit of a virus going on. Mega Rage. Ooh. Who's got Mega Rage? Mega Rage is interesting. It allows you to do this. But I think it affects everyone equally, so. It's not exactly a win-win situation. That's a lot of dark forests. Am I tripping still alive? Nope, they're gone. Because this thing came along. Oh my god. Oh, some more eggs. Where should I plant my eggs? I kind of want to wait until I get a forest Oh, these guys are dickheads. They like eat anything and everything alike. They don't care that, about these. Like, they just pretty much don't care about anyone. The only things that don't affect are themselves, and I think uh, a certain race of other Darwinians. Hmm. Should I help them out? Let's randomly bomb this dude. He doesn't doesn't need to live. Airstrike incoming! Uh oh! Looks a little bit off, but okay. We got the job done. Mostly. Oh, Dark Forest. <laughs> Let's add to this foresty area here. Why not? It's already uh, absolutely messed up. The funny thing is, that's one of your many spawn points. Well, one or two spawn points you have. I pop them there. Oh, wait. No, no, it's, it's fine. But it's good to try and track those dudes in the, a corner somewhere. You can sort of breathe life to a new species, in a sense. If you get it right. I managed to do it like twice so far. We just get like a. Pretty much just an army of these things coming along. It's chaotic. Why is things slowed down now? I'm not sure, there's... I'm guessing someone opened up a crate that did this, but I don't see a countdown for the crate. No, oh, it's coming back to... coming back to normal now. Oh, an ant's nest. These things are fun. Got some more airstrike. <laughs> I just love the variety of things you can get. Ants are pretty interesting, like they go and kill, hunt down Darwinians and bring them back to the nest for food. 
which in turn feeds the colony. They're fairly easy to kill these things. After the initial uh, shock of being disrupted, it won't last too long. Uh, let's airstrike you because that's bad. Bernie's bears. I suppose I do want it to end in, at some point, but I also kind of want to see what sudden death looks like because I don't really remember what that looks like at all. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus, that thing is so angry right now. Oh my gods. What in the hell? Yeah, good luck, man. I believe in you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's so hard to deal with that thing. It's so freaking hard. Because it's like flying it so fast, so they don't have a chance of actually hitting it. Like, it just scoops in, like, boom. Kill, kills half your team. Boom. Dead. Although these dudes have rockets, they've got a better chance, actually. Uh, looks like you've conquered that heal, so we'll just do that. Let's uh, have a bit of a meteor shower come down. Let's uh, celebrate Christmas in the, a spectacular way. Oh, it's a ghost tree. Really? Let's check this out. So it's because it's winter, the tree's not growing, I think. That's interesting. Merry Christmas! Yep. Oh, no, no, there he goes. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. I like to watch the world burn. As you zoom out, oof. That's, oh my god, look at that area there. Jesus. That is absolute chaos. I love it. Zoom out even more, it's like an even more detailed version of what's happened. Oh, a magical forest. Where should we put the magical forest? I think, yeah. This will cause a, a lot of interesting things to happen. Magical forests are good. See when it grows up, it uh, drops pretty much their version of a soul, which this dude can use to um, to uh, impregnate this thing with, or fertilize it. And these little dudes actually go out and seek souls and bring them to the egg as well. Oh no, it's not going to happen because the forest has been disabled. Fair enough. So magical forests don't work in uh, winter. That's pretty cool. Never seen that. It's actually kind of funny because it's like, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere right now, so it's snowing and cold. Whereas in Australia, it's like, hey, we heard you liked winter so much, we're just going to give you summer instead. It's like yesterday it was 37 degrees, today, thankfully, it'll be a 34. But, um, when your aircon decides to conk out, it makes uh, life a bit more interesting. It's just sitting there with uh, everything just heating up and all the like the, the furniture and that just warms up so it radiates heat back at you it's like you're sitting in an oven not fun I managed to combat it a bit with a little spray bottle just sort of spraying myself every now and then reminds me of the good old days when you don't have aircon anyway get that fixed eventually being the Christmas period and all it's a bit hard to get that uh, sorted out quickly enough oh evil onions oh Oh, interesting. Evil Winians are an interesting lot because of the fact that they aren't affected by um, the virus. The virus doesn't if you use them as a friend because they I think they're essentially a virus themselves, the Evil Winians. They're like um, the multi Winians have just been corrupted. Had their core programming, programming corrupted. A virus must grow. It must grow, I tell you. <laughs> very cool. Oh, it is dropping. Oh, very fantastic. So it is dropping souls. Right, so let's see. Um, it is so freaking bright here. I don't know why. Why is it so bright all of a sudden over here? But anyway, this dude's dropping his eggs. And um, 
These guys are going out and collecting the souls and bringing it back to the eggs. You can see like that one there. So many souls. Amazing. And um, so the eggs will give birth to more of these little dudes that are going to crawl around and eventually um, overwhelm everyone. The one downside to having these commanders line their people up is they don't actually use grenades anymore. So they'll just keep shooting normally, which is okay, but a grenade, a well-placed grenade would definitely do a lot more damage, so... Oof. How are the Evilians doing? Where, where are the Evilians? Oh my god, this place is just chaos, chaos central, man. Things are so hard to deal with. The only reliable, reliable way I've found to deal with them is you pretty much just cover his little area in a, in like um, forest, set the forest alight, and the fire when he dips in there will actually burn him and hurt him a lot. So that's sort of how you deal with them. I hear the Evilians. They got a collector. Oh, oh, I missed out on my retribution, unfortunately. Oh shit, you have to deal with these, these two too. A well-placed airstrike, well, well-timed airstrike, and a whole lot of luck also works. So we can do that. Nope, missed him. That actually got him. I think we killed him. Oh, nope, nope. I think we hurt him though. I think. Probably not actually. The ants, the ants are still alive. I'll eventually get one wiped out though, because they can't um, sustain their colony. I chuck a forest here, they might be able to sustain themselves. I've moved to last place. Okay. That's okay with me. I think eventually when, like, if everyone gets eliminated, I pretty much like, come in second, so... I'm fine with that. Oh, there's an ant. Look at their faction, he's got a little soul. Fascinating. Seems like things have uh, kind of stalled a bit. A lot of check, a bit of checkmate happening. I'm getting a lot of airstrike retributions. Um, let's do that. And whilst we're at it, we might as well just look at the world burn, huh? This place is completely lost. Oh, two airstrikes. <laughs> oh my god. This game. Is this something about it which is uh, very interesting? <laughs> this is why I enjoy it. I enjoy pretending that I'm a, a benevolent deity and uh, passing on righteous judgment uh, upon the, uh, the evildoers. Yes. Completely uh, subverting the ways of life of the people. Oh, got a magic forest. I want to use the Evil Indians base because they got a collector. So, what this little dude would do is he'll go collect souls, bring them back to the base, and then convert them into more Evil Indians. What's that? Randomizer. This is an um, opportunity to get back in the game. You get randomized. Especially if you come out on top, then you can take over the base and pretty much like claw your way back into the game. Pretty fun. Evil what? I'm pretty sure evil Indians aren't affected by the dark forest, so it's a good natural defense for them. Oh man. They just absolutely just hanging out. Ah! The hat doesn't sit on them properly because they're too big. Oh, that's hilarious. It's wearing on their chest. <laughs> you guys are a bit too big for the hat to sit there. <laughs> I wonder what future winnings look like. Hopefully they'll spawn. I don't know what the conditions are what the conditions have to be for them to spawn. I think they have to come in their spacecraft and like abduct a few multi winnians to be able to convert them to their side. And eventually they'll um kind of try and invade. 
take over a spawn place. Okay. I'm dropping souls. Sort of. I think they're dropping. So you should eventually go there. Magical forest. Yeah, I'll be curious to see what sudden death does. It's been such a long time since I've actually had sudden death as a thing. Or even just a timer in general. I just play it at infinite and then um, go from there. Meteor shower. Went up to the forest, they burnt it down. How dare they? That's quite a lot of people, so we'll just do that. If they're told to move somewhere, they generally don't react too much. Oh, they do actually. Never mind. It's really hard to airstrike a group of people. Airstrike's much, much better for static defense. This, on the other hand, this they can't run away from. But they'll certainly try and shoot it. <laughs> God, 1,000 kills. Oh my God. Oh, this game. There's something just so pleasing about it. Oh, oh there goes their spawner. Huh. Another magical forest. This magical forest is spread a bit too far. Okay, this guy's not doing what I thought he's gonna do. I think these guys are bugged out. They're not actually advancing at all and trying to take over things, so we'll just leave them alone. Oh jeez, that thing's still around. Anything that wants to Ooh, yes. Do you want to spawn some? Oh, that's right, I forgot middle mouse click was a zoom in function. So we can zoom in and enhance. Zoom in. Enhance. Ah, I never realized that the um, the commander was actually like a 3D uh, thing, whereas these dudes are obviously like they're 2D. That's cool. How about the, the evil Indians? Are they 3D or 2D? No, they're 2D as well. I'm not sure how to help you guys out. But the commander is 3D, isn't he? Yeah. They seem to be a little bit bugged right now. They're intent on just hanging out in their little fortress, which is, I guess, fine. I'll help extend their um, natural defense. And for some reason, like, the AI has a very hard time navigating through dark forests. So they'll send people through it and just kind of like bug out and just die. <laughs> so it makes for a very good defense. We're stopping most of their attacks. Things have really uh, calmed down a little bit, haven't they? Not much action's happening. Just some skirmishes here and there. So, uh, shake things up a little bit. It's not going to do too much, but it'll definitely open up a, a way for them to attack. Oh, Blue gets Rocket Williams. That's going to help them out a lot. Okay, Meteor Shower. Problem now is I've destroyed their um, formation. So these dudes are now free to uh, throw grenades. Oh, gee. Does that uh, spread? No, okay. I was curious if a dude on fire could set another dude on fire. But that's not the case. Hello. Oh, this, these dudes are fun. Once again, they'll eat the um, the souls of the Darwinians and they actually get um, bigger and bigger and longer and longer. And if you were to damage him, he will split apart into two diff uh, into segments. So he pretty much like multiplies that way. And it got to the point where I had like um, one area just uh, covered in magic forest, which had like a whole bunch of those dudes in there. And it just got to the point where there's just so many of them that the computer actually started lagging a hell of a lot. It was so much fun. Until it got set on fire. And that was like bad news bears. 
Oh, we've got 45 seconds to go. Not much happened really, it's like, it was fairly tame this time around. But, uh, so these are the uh, Rocket Williams. Uh, actually, I forget what they're called, but they're, they're the dudes you get in the single player that to like, kind of control and um, help out the Darwinians. I should probably play that again, actually. It's been a long time. It's a pretty interesting game. Pretty unique. Weird controls, though, like, confuse me a bit, but. It's um, manageable. Four, three, two, one, zero. Sudden death. Oh shit. Red's lost his spawn. So I don't know what sudden death does. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a... Uh, what's it? Uh, like a, an arena style event or something like the remaining Dominions attack each other or something or you don't get um, reinforcements anymore. But it just says game over and goes with the school. Well, there you go. So that's multi Uh A really fun game. I've only ever really played this map properly because it's the only one which the AI kind of works properly on. And uh, it's a, just a really fun map to muck around with. As, uh, as one can tell from my 30 odd hours just playing this map. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to head out now, so hope you have a really good Christmas and I'll see you in the new year. Bye.